Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while. I totally forgot to let you guys know that I was going on vacation. So I went to Italy for a week. And while I was there, I wasn't really on my phone much. Usually when I go traveling, I like to kind of just experience the country and the culture. And I try to stay away from like social media and just using my phone in general. But before I left, I didn't have a chance to film any videos for you guys. So I know I've kind of been on a little like hiatus but I am back and this video will be all about what I purchased in Italy. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm super excited to show you what I purchased. And I just also want to give you guys just a quick side note that in the future, I'm just going to be posting videos once a week. And I still don't know if it's gonna be just Sunday or if I'm gonna switch it to Saturday. If you guys have a preference, please let me know down in the comment section. I just think uh, currently the two videos a week was just a little hard for me to maintain and I just want to make sure that I'm putting the most effort into all my videos and giving an ample amount of time to edit and also just time to myself. I also just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys are new here, I know I had um, some subscribers join while I was gone. Thank you for subscribing. I'm super appreciative. If you guys are new, if you have never seen my stuff before, please consider subscribing down below. I would really appreciate it. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And with that, let's get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna start off with the leather goods I purchased first, and these are non-name brand items. If you've never been to Italy before, they are really known for their handmade leather goods. And I did purchase a few. <laughs> so I did purchase a few handmade leather goods, and these are obviously a lot cheaper than if you were to get like, you know, a name brand Italian designer. These are just little spots that you can find within Italy. I went to Florence and Venice, and these purchases I made were in Florence. So let me start off with my first item. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this handmade leather passport holder. It is a python snakeskin, hand painted to give this like gray white, um, just like a snakeskin effect. Inside is, I believe, calfskin leather, and then on the side it says real, I don't know if you guys are like the camera, real python made in Italy. And this I purchased in Florence at like a little shop. It's really, really soft. And she did say that the scales weren't going to lift. So I will let you guys know if it ends up lifting, but I think this is so cute. I really kind of wanted a passport holder, but I wanted something a little more original. I love the design of like the snake skin and then it also just being leather. My next purchase that I made in Florence is this handmade duffel bag. And this is also in calfskin leather, but it is a little more softer. I love the look of it being a washed out gray. I personally have been wanting a duffel bag. I don't have any really travel size duffel bags. When I was looking around, most of the handmade like leather duffel bags were using like obviously browns and some reds, but I wanted something a little more feminine and I think this one is perfect for me. I love like just like the color of the bag. Let me try to show you guys. It does fit a lot and it did come with a little strap and it also came with a dust bag as well. So this is another item I purchased. Third item I'm going to show you is actually the first purchase I made when I first arrived in Italy. And these are some handmade, I guess, le leather and suede shoes. I'll try to show you guys. So they came beautifully packaged. They came with a dust bag for the shoehorn. They came, had two separate little shoe dust bags for each individual shoe. I did purchase the shoe tree separate but it does have their little symbol. It's really nice. It keeps the molds of the shoe perfect. And I did wear these while I was in Italy, but they are hand painted. This is like leather sole, the suede blue type of just like mule. And I think these are so cute. I don't know, I'm really excited to wear these for work. And I did wear them all day in Florence walking around and they were extremely comfortable. I definitely recommend that if you are in Florence or Italy in general, definitely try to find some handmade shoes. They make really, really nice handmade shoes and they're pretty decently priced for what you're getting. 
So I definitely recommend checking out their shoes. Hey guys, so now for the not good stuff, but the stuff you probably came here for. And these are the two designer things that I purchased in Italy. And my first one, I'll give a backstory. So in Italy, if you're in Florence, and there's a bunch of these throughout like the main cities, but they have these like luxury outlet, uh, I guess, stores. And they have like Gucci, you know, Prada, Dior, Chloe, Todd's, like you name it. They have like all these luxury brands and this like outlet. So I went to the one in Florence and you take a bus and it's like 40 minutes away and they have all these beautiful outlets there. And I did end up purchasing something from the Gucci outlet. So that is my Gucci box. And I've been wanting something to replace the scarf I lost. So I know if you guys have been watching my videos, I did mention that I had a Burberry scarf and I ended up losing it within a week. And I just didn't want to pay a lot to begin with so but I did purchase that Burberry scarf in the Burberry outlet they did have a Burberry outlet there I just didn't like any of their scarves but I did like the scarves at the Gucci outlet so I did get this beautiful pink Gucci scarf it does have the G's on it I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but it is gorgeous I think it's rectangle um design they have like a square design as well I forgot the percentage that's made out of. I know it's wool and silk. I just forgot how much is percentage of wool and how much is a percentage of silk. But I thought this was so pretty. You guys know I love pink. <laughs> and I just can't wait to wear this. And I don't think it's too noticeable, the G's. And that's kind of also why I got it. I didn't want something that was like too flashy. I want something that's very minimal. Or had a very minimal sign of it being a name brand so there are g's but i think it's a little more discreet than the other scars they had and they did have scars that were, didn't have any um logos they were just like pretty floral designs but i wanted something a little more simple so that is this i think i'll just keep wearing this because i don't know i think it looks really pretty guys <laughs> okay so for my last purchase guys and i'm super excited to show you guys this this wasn't even on my radar in terms of like it wasn't on my wish list i wasn't like thinking about it but when i was going to italy i know i did want to purchase something i want to purchase the cartier love ring the thin version which i've been talking about and if you guys have watched my channel you guys know that's like the ring i want to buy next but there wasn't that much of a price discrepancy between buying it in the states or buying it in europe and i just didn't there was no need to i guess go to the go to europe to buy it and I did need something of this sort. I wanted it in a different brand, but when I saw the price discrepancy and it being much better overseas, I decided to purchase this over there and kind of just like not purchase the other brand. And that will make sense once I unbox it. But it is from Saint Laurent. And maybe you guys know by the box, and I'll show you guys, oop, this already came off. <laughs> Let me show you. I'm super excited because, again, I haven't I've literally taken this out of the box because I wanted to make it a true unboxing, but it comes in this dust bag. And, guys, so I got the YSL, the small, the small walk, so the smaller version of the walk they make, or wallet on chain that they make. And I really like this design. I don't know, if, have anyone seen this type of, like, wallet on chain before? I don't know if it's, like, new. I probably should have asked. But I originally wanted to get the black on black, but my boyfriend and even the sales associate said, don't do that just cause it would make it not look as like, just like kind of like drown it out, if that makes sense. Cause I wanted this to be for when I go to dinner or if I just need something small, like if me and my boyfriend are going to a play or a concert, I just wanted a smaller bag. And initially, now this might make sense to you guys, I wanted the Chanel wallet on chain, but when I saw this and the price difference if I bought it in Italy, I decided to purchase this uh, brand new. And I love this design with the white and black kind of like pattern. And I'll open it up for you guys. So yeah, it's a smaller one. So it's definitely not going to fit, I feel like, as much. But if you guys are interested, I can definitely do an update on what fits inside this walk. Or even, you know, the wear and tear on this specific walk. Because it is... A lighter color on the back but I'm not too worried it is like a pebbled almost I think it's calfskin leather and I don't know I'm just not too worried about like it 
getting ruined because it feels like really durable on the leather and that if something did come on, I feel like you could easily wipe it away. I can always give an update video on how I actually think it held up. But I am 4'11", so for anyone that is short like me, one of the really good things about this walk, or like I guess walks in general, are that you can crisscross it inside. Oh, let me try doing this for you guys. So you take the, the opposite ends and you crisscross it on either side of it, and then you can like close it. So you can close it and then it becomes really short so that, let me try to, can hit right here on my hip, which is perfect length for me. I could also, I think since it's so small, I can put the chain in and make it a clutch. So I think it's just like a really cute clutch. And then also if I take away kind of like the side strapping I did, I can make it into a crossbody bag. So I'll just give more close-ups of the bag itself. But this is just like a quick video to kind of show you even this, I don't think it's too short. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. Ah, my chair is falling, sorry guys. It definitely wasn't on my radar, but I just think it's so cute and I got a really good, really good price, especially even after the that return. So I'm super excited to use this. I'll probably use it today now that I've unboxed it for you guys. That's pretty much it for this video. It was a quick unboxing. I do have, if you guys, again, like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!